Love is a temporary madness. It erupts like volcanoes and then subsides. And when it subsides, you have to make a decision. You have to work out whether your roots have so entwined together that it is inconceivable that you should ever part. Because this is what love is. Love is not breathlessness, it is not excitement. It is not the promulgation of promises of eternal passion. That is just being in love, which any fool can do. Love is self, is what is left over when being in love has burned away. Those who truly love have roots that grow toward each other underground. And when all the pretty blossoms have fallen from their branches, they find that they are one tree and not two. Liam told Jess he loved her after a week. Love is not as common as people think it is. When you know, you know. Unbelievable. Unbelievable story. Totally serendipity, fate, all of the above. It was pure love right away. I knew something special had happened on Jess's trip to Whistler when she asked me to come over for breakfast the day after she had returned. It took a bit of time for her to spill the beans, but I remember it started something like this. So I met a guy. He's Irish. A cheeky grin appeared on her face with a tiny giggle. She continued with, and he's really cute. Eight hundred and thirty-four days. That's the longest taken me to marry the love of my life, my partner. Liam, we met on top of a mountain, both of us dressed in snow gear. You knew you liked where you could even look, see what I looked like. That's how I knew this would be a real love, and that I could trust you with my heart. Then, one of the first things you ever did to me was peg me with a snowball. That's how I knew this was going to be fun. On the Saturday night, we went out with our friends, and with every second we spent talking, the more confident I was that you were my soulmate. Both of us lived a lot of life before we met. We each had our own story. But when we met, it was like we found home. And it makes me so happy to get to write the rest of this crazy, wonderful story with you and myself. <laughs> oh baby, you look so beautiful. <laughs> I love your compassion and how you see the best in everyone and everything. I love that you challenge me to be a better person. I love that you make me feel like the luckiest man in the world just by waking up to your beautiful smile and those beautiful big brown eyes. I found someone who is as endlessly positive, friendly and kind-hearted as I aspire to be and loving you is the ultimate privilege. You are someone to live up to and the world is a better place with you in it. I promise to love you through our most joyous days and our most difficult days. I promise to always be by your side. I promise to give you extra attention and cuddles when you're sick and maybe feeling a little hungover. I promise to share you the last twizzler from the packet. I promise to love you for the rest of our lives. I promise to never forget your worth, even when you've just told me your fifth dad joke of the day. We're already up to three, I think, Yeah. Today. I promise to always hold your hand and sing with you in the car because your voice is my most favorite sound. I love you, Jess, and no matter where we are in life, as long as I'm with you, I'm always home. But most of all, I promise to love you with everything I am, and I promise to appreciate with every single breath just how lucky I am to be marrying my best friend, my confidant, my adventure buddy, and my biggest fan. I love you.
Well, you belong in a magazine. You belong on a street lamp poster. You belong. Put your hands together for the newlyweds, Mr. and Mrs. Liam and Jess Taft. You belong in the night sky, shining bright like a big old star. And you belong holding my hand next to me. We can watch that morning sun coming up. We can watch them more. In May 2016, you came to visit us in Winnipeg. And again, it felt like we'd known you for years. Henry was away that weekend, so I hung out with you and Jess. Henry came home, and I remember you singing and playing the guitar and talking about getting engaged. And then I remember the look on Henry's face his face of surprise. Like, I went for the weekend, and what did I miss? Liam, you might fool some into thinking that you're rugged with your rugby playing, tattoos, and weightlifting. But I've seen the gentle guy that pulls Jess's chair out at restaurants, holds her purse, and offers a helping hand around the house. I've heard about the many times that you wake up early to make Jess breakfast in the wee hours of the morning before she goes to clinical, and the times you lend a hand to Jess's parents and her grandparents. Liam, you are considerate, kind, and selfless. I'm so happy Jess met and fell in love with someone who will give her the love and support she deserves. We can watch them morning sun and we'll say, Are we living the life and never saying goodbye? Cause we found all that we've ever wanted. Just laying right here next to your left is what I always dreamed of. And you are all that I've ever wanted. By the power vested in me by the province of Manitoba, I pronounce you husband and wife. Liam, you may kiss the bride. Now, for the first time, let me introduce the newlyweds, Jess and Liam Taffy. Take my breath like a roller coaster.